Hello everybody, this is Math Jedi V, and today we're going to be attacking the 2016 AMC 8 problem 23. As you can see, I already have drawn this diagram here. So I'm just going to be reading the problem and describing this diagram step by step. Two congruent circles centered at point A and point B. Each pass through the other circle center. In this case, circle B passes through circle A center and circle A passes through circle B center. The line containing both A and B is extended to intersect the circles at point C and D. So A, B is going to be extended this way to go to point C, and A, B is going to be extended this way to go to point D. The circles intersect at two points, one of which is E. E can be on the top or the bottom, but I prefer E to be on the top, so let's just label this point E. The question is asking us what the degree measure of angle CED is. So it's asking for the degree measure of CED. This is the plan of attack for the problems. Usually in these kind of problems, you always want to find some triangles. It can be right triangles, it can be equilateral triangles, or it can just be a couple of similar triangles. Having triangles will make the problem a lot easier. So let's try to draw some auxiliary lines around the question that's being asked, which in this case is C. Let's draw segment AE and line segment EB. Hmm, triangle AEB looks suspiciously like an equilateral triangle. Let's see if we can prove this. Since line segment AB is a radius of circle A and line segment AE is a radius of circle A as well, and line segment BE is a radius of circle B, and since Circle A and circle B are congruent. That means that all three radii are congruent. So, triangle EAB is equilateral. Which means that all three angles are 60. Angle AEB equal to 60 degrees. The problem we're trying to find here is angle CED. To find this, all we need to find is angle CEA plus angle AEB plus angle DEB. We have already found that AEB is 60 degrees. All we have left to find is angle CEA and angle DEB. By symmetry, those two angles are the same. So all we need to do is find one of those angles and just multiply by two and add 60 to it, and we got the answer. Let's look at the right triangle DEB. We want to find this angle. Since Line segment BE and line segment BD are the same because they're both radii of circle B. This means that angle DEB is equal to 180 minus this angle EBD divided by 2. And we can find angle EBD because this whole line angle is 180. And since we already have part of it, that means triangle, the angle EBD is just 180 minus 60, which is 120. We can substitute the value of angle EBD into this equation, which will get you angle DEB is 30 degrees. So angle DEB is 30 degrees. And since by symmetry, angle CA and angle DEB are the same. If you don't believe me, you can perform the same algorithm on this set of triangle and you get the same answer. So, angle CA is also equal to 30 degrees. 
The answer is just the sum of these numbers. 30 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is equivalent to 120 degrees. Answer choice C. Problem conquered. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.